Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and you're watching a new video where I will make mail that will be completely reusable. Now, if you're slightly confused by that theme, I will quickly explain. You all know that I love reusing things or um, repurposing or saving. I'm a little bit of a hoarder I have to admit but it's really really fun if you receive pretty mail with for example a pretty gift bag or something else you really like to find a new use for that so um, actually one of my subscribers Daisy she asked me a long time ago because this video is quite old I have to admit she asked me if I wanted to do a swap with her where we would uh, create a challenge for us ourselves to make as much as possible reusable I will obviously explain more as I go so the first thing I wanted to uh, send her as a gift <laughs> that she could reuse was that postcard which is from Dylan and Camilla which is a shop here in the Netherlands. It's actually a textured postcard and I love it so much. Um, so what I thought I would do is something that I've also done in, let me think, in the unicorn themed meal I did a little while ago and that is to apply that postcard onto the swap with photo corners. So then um, I use the uh, I use that postcard as the front of the flip book and she can just peel off the little photo corners and then she will be able to use the postcard itself. <laughs> I actually think that's one of my favorite ideas for sending uh, little reusable gifts to your pals. You can use the postcard of course to write something on it but I think it's also really cute to um, yeah to use it like that. Wow, I have to admit, I'm a little bit out of <laughs> this whole voiceover thing. I know that I've probably done a voiceover in the last couple of weeks, but phew, it's not coming that easy right now. Um, but I also want to tell you about some other things in my life right now. By the way, that is a flow book for paper lovers. And because you punch that little card out of the page, you have those little teeny tiny pieces of paper left on the sides and I just cut them off. That's my washi tape box. Yes, I know it's out of control. And because I wanted her to be able to reuse all of the items, I'm going to stick most of the things on the project with washi tape. So then you can just peel off the washi tape and you can reuse the card. But okay, what I was going to say is that I uh, actually filmed this video back in 2018 at the end of November actually so that is quite a while ago but always when I have some time or when I have inspiration I like to film more than I can upload because for example now we just moved and everything has been kind of crazy I don't have the time or I don't my craft room isn't ready yet to actually film and then I can just rely on videos that I made a while ago so this is back from <laughs> November 2018 but okay I was actually going to tell you about now not then um, I'm making a little washi tape sample <laughs> in the background Wow, I'm really sorry this video is so awkward. That's actually something I also have to tell you. Um, today, today is Tuesday. I'm actually really, really on time with my voiceovers for once. Um, Today's Tuesday and I got a little notification from YouTube saying, hey, one year ago you posted this video. Uh, I'm just adding some milk to my tea. I don't know. I'm doing stuff in the background. Just ignore it. <laughs> or you can mute. Um, mute this video if you want to ignore my voice instead um but okay one year ago you posted this video so i actually got to thinking about one year ago um that would be the 16th of april 2018 um and i started looking into my statistics for my channel and i found out that one year ago i only had 525 followers or subscribers on youtube which still is quite a lot if you ask me now i'm adding more coffee to my coffee because i don't know i didn't i wasn't satisfied yet more milk i don't know what i'm doing 
I actually have coffee, not tea. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, flow book for paper lovers. Also, I made a tiny pocket for that washi tape by cutting a vintage book page. That is my box of die cuts. This is going too fast for me to comment on the video and also tell you the story. But okay, 525 followers, subscribers. That's still a lot to me, but right now I'm at, at 3,500. So actually I grew 3,000 subscribers in one year, which is really, really cool. Of course, I'm hoping to grow more as time passes, but um, I'm really proud of how far I've come so far. Although I have to say that I actually don't look at the numbers as often anymore like back when i was at 500 subscribers i would check nearly every day to see if it was 600 already or 550 and i would be checking that all the time i even kept track of that in my bullet journal but i stopped doing that because actually that is not where the fun is you know i would be probably more sad if i had a day without comments <laughs> than i would be if i had a day without new subscribers because oh my god this is going to sound so cheesy but i prefer that like the real interaction over the numbers i guess i'm saying quality over quantity i would rather have more uh, <laughs> I'm saying that wrong. I would rather have less subscribers uh, if they were actually interested over more subscribers who don't really care about my videos. So, but still, even though that is what I care about more, it's really cool to look back and see a growth of 3000 in one year. Um, that is crepe paper. Or tissue paper whatever you want to call it and I glued that on the back I know it looks a little bit messy but call me weird but I actually like it like that when it's a little bit distressed and now I am using my envelope punch board to make a little envelope <laughs> surprise surprise but yeah that was actually really really cool for me to see today to see that <laughs> that little throwback makes me really happy you know i've i actually i'm going to sound very cheesy again but i actually gain so much through this channel you know it's really fun to be able to share my hobby with like-minded people and to meet so many of you guys and of course i also appreciate receiving mail in my po box that's also really really cool but um yeah the main thing is of course just making mail having fun <laughs> Okay, I got a little bit sidetracked there. I'm all over the place today. But what I actually wanted to tell you is just a little story about yesterday and today. Because I actually receive a lot of messages and letters from people who also deal with the same things I'm dealing with, which is anxiety, for example. And... A lot of people let me know that they really appreciate my little chats about that every now and then. And I also really like sharing that with you because you can only break the stigma if you talk about it. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about anxiety again. Or maybe not so much anxiety, but okay, let me just start this story. Yesterday, I had a terrible day. I had a very busy weekend, um, which is fine. But then yesterday I had a little bit of backlash over that, you know, I was so tired and then it gets really hard to, sometimes when I have a busy weekend, I forget to focus on my emotions and how I'm feeling and then I go too fast and I trip <laughs> and then I feel kind of bad and shitty for a couple of days. So Monday was actually a shitty day, <laughs> let me be honest. And then what happens when I feel like that? Like there's different types of feeling shitty, but what happens on a day like Monday is I want to hide. <laughs> I don't want to come out of bed. Luckily, I have a little cat who is scratching the curtains because she wants to look out of the window. Um, and then I don't want to leave the house. I feel like I have this pressure inside of me to do a lot of things, but I also feel like I cannot and I will not and I 
don't know how to actually get started or get up. So it's kind of frustrating. It's frustrating is the, the right word. Um, little video update. I have those cute Maggie Holmes tickets and I'm uh, sticking them on the page with tape. So that like tape and then rolled up so that it's double sided and then she can peel them off and reuse them. And I also put that little card on there with a paper clip. Isn't it coming together really cute? I think it's coming together so adorable. Um, but okay, I didn't want to do anything. Uh, yeah, but then I am learning that sometimes it's okay to give yourself a little time because my instinct was telling me to get my ass off of the couch and start doing the things I had to do right away. But I also knew that being angry at myself isn't going to make it any better. So I allowed myself to watch Netflix on the couch for a little bit. And then at the end of the afternoon, I had to do some grocery shopping, um, but I took my time. I, I thought if I don't rush myself, it will probably be better. So I just strolled around the supermarket trying to whew, be in touch with myself and my emotions and my breathing and everything. And then I did my grocery shopping, of course, which is not the most fun thing, but hey, sometimes you just have to do those kind of things. Um, and then I bought some flowers for myself, which always helps. So I bought fresh flowers and then I cycled home. I dropped my mail in the mailbox and there was this lovely weather, sunshine on my face. And I started feeling a lot better. So I guess the moral of the story is I didn't push myself and it ended up okay. I wasn't angry at myself and I still did the things I had to do and my day got a tiny bit better <laughs> and of course this is a learning process and i'm slowly but surely getting there but that doesn't mean it's easy but i guess that's a story for another time um in the background you can see the finished product uh, this is a little bit slowed down because i talk too much uh, she can reuse and peel off all of the stickers or the die cuts i guess all of the goodies uh, all of the cards and yeah that even that little envelope so I really hope that this gave you some ideas I really hope Daisy liked it of course but I think she did um, yeah you know I was actually quite pleased with how this turned out and I hope you got some creative vibes from it as well I would love to hear your tips for reusing or upcycling or recycling or whatever uh, in the comments down below <laughs> leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next one bye bye